Welcome and welcome back everyone. This is the Cosmic Awakening. Today we're asking the question, what's next in this timeless pick a card? What is next? What is coming up next in your life? Okay, we've got three options today. Option one with the Botswana Agate, option two with the Spirit Quartz, and option three with this Black Onyx Tower point. Okay, so take a deep breath. Exhale. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings here on this channel. I am currently still doing private readings. I don't know for how much longer because I, there's already a seven day waiting time and I don't like pe to, to you know make people wait. So now would be the time to request for a reading or an energy healing session on Zoom with me. If that's what you're looking for, you can find my email in the description box. Also, um, if you like the decks that I use here, you can find the information for those in the affiliate links in the description box as well. Don't forget to comment how this resonates with you in the comment section. If it does not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. This is a general reading. It's not really possible that it's going to resonate for everyone, okay? So keep that in mind. There's nothing like a private reading. So without any further ado, let's start. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. Okay. Push these to the side here. And we're going to start with pile number one. Welcome pile one. If you chose the Botswana agate, this is your reading. Let me just regulate the lighting here a little bit. Okay. So what is coming up next for you, pile one? Let's find out. Okay, we have a victory. This is a very clear message here for you. Victory. Okay, guys, this is a great way to start. So it seems like um, anything you've been working on or something you've been wanting to win or gain or accomplish, it seems like that's where you're headed, okay? Uh, public recognition. We have this um, laurel. Um, so it's like... Uh, it, it, it's like you're going to be inspiring uh, someone or a group of people who are going to uh, recognize and um, recognize you for um, for your talents, for your skills, for an achievement. People cheering you on, applauding you. This is a reminiscent to me of the Six of Wands where it's like you've been through a lot and um, you're coming out victorious. So there could have been some tough situation you had to battle in your life as of late or in recent years or for many years and you're finally reaching that victory. So guys, let me know what this is about. I am very curious. So if you want to comment what this is about. And we have Archangel Uriel with trust. Yes, so Archangel Uriel has been with you through this process, bringing you uh, the wisdom. So this is based on a lot of wisdom. Um, you've used your wisdom wisely, and now that's exactly why you're getting this victory here. So trust the process is what's being asked of you right now. If things seem to be a little bit slow, just trust this process, okay? It's leading you toward a victory. So don't give up is what I'm hearing with this. Yes, diligence, of course, because you've been so diligent. That's why you are getting, um, that's why you're accomplishing what you're accomplishing. That's why um, you're able to, um, you've, you've just relied on your wisdom and you've been diligent. You've known, um, and I'm seeing all these crops really organized. So I'm, I'm thinking seasons and crops, you know, how, uh, there's this a uh, rotative uh, crops things where you have like the four seasons and each of the crops has, you know, one set of um, produce for a certain um, time of the year, like a certain season. And then next season you move on to the next one while that that soil rests and rejuvenates for when, you know, you use it again. So for some of you, this may have some kind of resonance. Uh, you may be involved in agriculture, not necessarily. Um, I'm seeing migration here with this bird for some reason. I'm being called to think about 
mig migration, migrating, maybe immigration, maybe you're getting your um, visa or your uh, residence or I don't know, some of you. Um, yeah, and it's been with that mountain there, it's been like a steep climb or it's been like a tough mountain to climb, but you're, you're, you're getting to the top there. And with this pearl here, there's something about pearls or pearls of wisdom, pearl of wisdom or something about, you know, finding a treasure or a pearl or you being this unique pearl and your skills, your talents, you are needed somehow. And because you are part, you are like, what I'm seeing here is because you are marrying your skills with your talents and your diligence. It's like, it's the perfect storm that you are coming in, you know, like it's the perfect storm is what I'm hearing here. The number 28 may be relevant. The number 10, the number one, new beginnings and closing is after closing a cycle. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful guys. You've been diligent, you have been wise, you have been trusting, and now you're about to get some form of success here. Yes, you've been patient as well, seven of pentacles. You've been planting some really good seeds, and now you're about to see, to, you know, come into the harvest. Um, this is uh, making me feel autumn vibes. So let's say you're in the so southern hemisphere and you're coming into the autumn now. Now, the next three months will be when you will uh, harvest the, these crops here. Whatever seeds you've planted, very well planted, by the way, is what the Seven of Pentacles is about. It's almost like if you are in the Southern Hemisphere and you're, you're in, you just enter, entered autumn now, now would be the time for your harvest. Exactly. That's why this is next. So a lot of people in the Southern Hemisphere, shout out to Australia, Africa, uh, New Zealand, uh, South, South America, guys, let me know where you're from, okay, if you're watching this and if this is your pile. Um, I'm also seeing something around this, you know, some of you could be like in the tropics where they're uh, like monsoon areas or like Himalayas or Nepal. I don't know, something about uh, climbing a mountain could be Kilimanjaro. I don't know. There's something uh, about where you live. There, there could there could be some snow, like in New Zealand, like those uh, Queenstown. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is very random. I don't normally come up with with all of this information about location, but guys, shout out to you guys in the Southern Hemisphere if you are in autumn time now. I'm seeing all this autumn. Um, um, the colors, the autumn colors here and here as well. The reds, the yellows, the the oranges. Yeah. But anyway, even if you are in the northern hemisphere, this could be that you trusting the process now will bring you a victory next in the next, say, uh, six months. And then you're coming into the autumn um, time around September. Now, if you are in the, like the, the tropics or near the equator where there are no seasons, then it just means that this is what's next, okay? Don't take the season so seriously here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You guys are definitely leveling up when it comes to your finances next, okay? I'm seeing a lot of security here. Some of you guys may be getting pregnant, because I'm seeing that rabbit there, she she's kind of holding this, uh, well, not kind of, she's holding this pentacle, but it's look like it looks like her dress is a little bit loose here. So she with with all this, um, yeah, maybe you've been waiting to give birth, um, or conceive but for some of you. Okay, this is not going to be for everyone because the bunnies, the rabbits, and you know these are also significant of abundance and fertility so I'm seeing you manifesting financially a lot because you have been uh, I'm almost getting empress energy here from this even though we're just getting the queen of pentacles here um, it's that part of the empress that brings in abundance fertility okay and uh, stability as well um, you could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo in your chart as well 
nine of wands. Yeah, as I was saying, you guys have been through it with that. That's why I was getting the six of wands here. Like you've been through the nine of wands is like, it's almost like finally after all that I've been through, after I've climbed that mountain, after I've been so patient, after I've been so diligent, finally, you know, I've been through a lot, but it was worth it. Now I'm coming out victorious, but not unscathed. You know what I mean? Page of Pentacles. Wow. You guys, you never lost your momentum is what I'm seeing here. You didn't lose your momentum. And because of that, now you're getting rewarded. You started this new journey. And whatever new journey, you may have started this seven years ago, seven months ago. Okay, guys, for some seven months, seven years is not that uh, ancient, right? So new for you could be seven years or seven um, months is what I'm seeing here. It's a, it's a fairly relatively new journey for whatever you're trying to manifest here. But it's now finally coming, coming full circle is what I'm seeing here. Okay. The chariot. Yeah. You, you, you decided to go after your goals. And for that reason, you're changing your life now. I'm getting two sevens here. So angel number 77. And with all these sevens, I'm seeing a spiritual path here that you've taken, a spiritual path. You could have a child already, or you're going to have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child, or they may have that strongly, heavily in their chart. I'm seeing cancer energy here. Could be a North Node in Cancer. Um, could be a Midheaven or Sun, Moon, um, Rising Venus, Mars, Mercury. You know, the, the important placements here. But you, you're going after your goals. And with these sevens in Uriel here, you've trusted the process. You... Um, connected to spirit you connected to source and because of that now you're gonna get your victory king of wands okay so leo sagittarius aries energy that's also boss energy bossing up energy okay you could be dealing with the leo sagittarius aries energy soon who is a boss okay with this flying maybe this person is flying to see you okay i just got that energy for some reason for others of you this person may be involved in this process that you're um, somehow, yeah, the Four of Cups. So you may still be feeling like things are not moving uh, as much as you would like them to and you're getting worried or bored or something's missing in your life. And now we got the Knight of Pentacles. So we got like all the, just the, the King of Pentacles missing, but now we got the Page, the Knight and the Queen of Pentacles. So so there's been slow and steady progress. So I wouldn't be surprised this is something you started seven to nine years ago. And now you're finally, um, you know, getting the abundance in. And there have, been, there have been times where, okay, now we have chaos and conflict. Where there has been chaos and conflict in your life. You have had to shed your skin. You, um, you There have been times where nothing was happening or seemingly uh, and you still trusted and you still were diligent and you still work toward this. You still believed the number 33, you may be seeing 33 a lot. So check out angel number 33 and master number 33. Okay. So before this victory, there still could be some chaos and conflict happening around you. Okay. But here's something about your skills and polishing your skills here by practicing regularly this diligence. This could be any skill, but for some of you I'm seeing music here, it's gonna finally pay off. There has been a journey here for you. And it's just something that you've wanted since you were very young. And you're finally with the King of Wands here, that's getting recognition as well. Either by someone at a higher level or you're just sitting in this energy here of creativity, fertility, um, yeah, there's something you're creating here. The dragonfly, be light. Okay, so this is about love now. This is a love message, okay? Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Now, I, I took this one out of the love oracle cards, but I do feel this is a, a broader message, okay? So there's something that's going to come to light for you that's going to help you heal, adapt, and change, and there's someone here that is going to make the effort toward you when it comes to love, okay? It says, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Or if you have a certain person in mind, 
then they're saying yes, make the effort, okay? And be lighthearted about this person and about this situation because there's still change happening here and you need to kind of adapt. There could be chaos and, and conflict in this love situation, but there will be a victory, okay? So I'm getting two messages here. And this person is moving toward you slowly but surely, okay? But they're taking care of business as well. Oh, look. So for those of you waiting to come into union with someone specific or unspecific, or non-specific, sorry. It says, act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So for some reason, um, it's almost saying, hold on, because I'm coming. They're coming. The number 37, now we have one again. We have two ones, so 11, you could be seeing 11, 11. Um, yeah, and so if you are tired of waiting or just really discontent and feeling left out by spirit, connect, make that connection with spirit, trust the process, be patient, and act as if your partner is here as a way of manifesting this person into reality a lot quicker rather than worrying and uh, staying in that lower vibrational energy. Keep working on your life, keep being diligent. There's a victory here. And I do feel this is a double victory in, in work and love. Okay. In coin and abundance. And even I'm seeing kids here for some of you. Okay. Just be lighthearted right now. There's still things coming to light. Um, you still need to heal a lot and there's still, uh, there will be an, uh, a, there's a, some kind of a, a, adapting phase right now that you're going through. Guys, let me know how this resonates in the comment section. If it does not resonate, choose another pile. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings. And if you'd like a private reading with me, you can find my email in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bless you and bye for now. Welcome, pile two. If you chose the spirit courts, this is your reading. So let's find out what's next for you, pile two. Okay, we got fourth chakra, the number 38, Archangel Raphael. What is next for you? Love and healing, okay? That is generally uh, healing of the heart chakra, healing of your heart, healing in general, okay? Because uh, Archangel Raphael is for love and healing. The number 38 may be relevant, the number 11. You could be seeing 11s a lot or 1111, something like that. Uh, healing of the heart chakra and healing to your situation, whatever that is. Oh, uh, look, sound dolphin and love. Okay, so love is also on its way to you and that just reinforces this, um, you know, heart energy here. So this is being more specific now. What's next for you, love, okay? And with this orange, this is sacral chakra, so I'm seeing attraction and a lot of sexual energy here as well. Archangel Sand Sandalfon may mean something to you. Freedom, okay. Freedom from um, keeping your heart in a cage. Freedom from hurt, from pain. Freedom from... You're freeing your heart is what I'm seeing here. And more freedom in romantic connections as well. And with the, the birds here, I'm seeing communication coming in. That will be very healing. Yeah, someone is waiting or you're waiting for something for your ships to come in or for someone to travel to you. But again, wands energy is passion. Page of wands, yeah. So you could uh, have Leo Sagittarius, Aries in your chart. You could have gotten a spark of inspiration or someone's getting a spark of inspiration to come toward you, to fly toward you literally overseas, very most probably. Probably from like um, Africa or uh, Australia or just some place where a desert, where there's a desert or a very like uh, hot climate. Okay, we have temperance. So Sagittarius energy here going on. Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be, but there's something here that's divinely guided, yin and yang um, energy here, divine counterparts, union of divine counterparts, a balance, eight of pentacles. 
So either you or someone is diligently working to have financial freedom. I'm also seeing financial freedom coming for you. And when it comes to love, your ship's coming in. There's someone coming in who is a divine counterpart. This person could be working on their finances so they can have enough money to be free to come toward you. Six of Pentacles, um, equal give and take, um, financial stability here, Ten of Cups. So that is emotional fulfillment. So someone could be working on their money either to be able to ask you to marry them or to travel to you so that you can have emotional fulfillment together, come into union. Page of Wands, so you could have a child, this person could have a child, you could both be very young at heart or be very young people. One of you could have more Leo Sagittarius Aries, the other one of you, oh, I'm two pages of wands. So we have an energetic match here. Again, divine counterparts, mirroring energy. It's mutual. There's mutuality here, mutual feelings, emotional fulfillment, passion, spiritual connection. Archangel Michael, so I'm seeing uh, the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. And I'm also seeing with Archangel Raphael, I'm seeing Cap uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. And with these wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone is working hard to free themselves to come toward you. Page of, now we have another page of pentacles. So, so you guys could definitely either be having a child or, ha or have kids. But there's a lot of communication with all these pages, passion, communication, communication about stability, communication about love and communication about work as well. Maybe more money coming in so you can free yourself and be financially free, poised. This is all happening for you because you have stepped into this energy of becoming a magnet and you've learned to manifest by just being in your energy and working on yourself and that's why you're being rewarded yes yeah, strength everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous so you've held strong you've held your center and because of that now you're getting your reward okay now for love messages we got heart with a key so welcoming love meeting the one Open your heart, getting together, perfect. Yeah, that's the Ten of Cups energy. We have the love. We have the um, heart chakra. We have passion. We have an Eight of Pentacles is also someone coming in who will, who you will uh, share a daily life with, chores, um, who will work on this and be very dedicated I'm seeing a lot of communication, meanwhile, before you get to this Ten of Cups. The number 48 may be relevant, as well as the number 12 and the number 3. We have a 6 as well. 8, 14, and 5. There's going to be change in the situation. You're going to be welcoming in the 1. And with this sitting right underneath the Heart Chakra, you have decided to open your heart. You're finally healed. And so now is, is like the perfect time to get together. Healing family issues. So someone here could have been healing family issues. Maybe that's what you're freeing yourself from. Finally, um, it also says your love life benefits as you for, forgive your parents. Now, with this one, you got rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. If you've been working hard, you're going to be able to take a break. And at least that is the advice if you're not thinking of taking a break. The number 42 and the number 6, again, may be relevant, okay? So there could be a blended family here happening as well. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so pile two, this was your reading. Let me know how it resonates in the comment section. If it does not resonate, choose another pile. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings on this channel. 
Also, um, don't forget to comment how this resonates for you. And if you would like a private reading, you can find my information in the, in the uh, description box, my email. Thank you so much for watching. Bless you and bye for now. Welcome pile three. Last but not least, this black onyx um, point. This is your reading. Let's find out what's next for you. Ooh, I love this. Happy family. What have you guys been doing? Okay, so whether you already have a family situation or you're looking um, toward starting a family, there's going to be blessings here either in an existing family, there's going to be happiness, or you're going to be able to create a happy family. The number four being there is this is all happening because you have structured your life, and because of that, now you're getting rewarded with this happiness, with these blessings. Emotional fulfillment, okay? So some of you could be adding uh, a child to the family here. Yeah, another thing, you're going to have a lot to be grateful for. A lot to be grateful for. Abundance here with all these, uh, with all this produce here. This is abundance and that's why you're getting so much happiness. There's a lot that you're going to be grateful for. And it's going to um, improve your family life. Wonders, yes. Things that you maybe thought were not possible or out of reach um, or just things that you maybe never considered to be blessings will be happening for you. So I'm seeing surprises with this one. Six of Swords, definitely healing here of a situation. You're possibly going to be able to move overseas or someone's going to come toward you. Um Maybe someone who is at a distance from you, but let's find out more. The moon, there ha you have been dealing with deep emotions lately. Something may be hidden, um, coming to light uh, very soon. Um, healing your emotions. I'm seeing you healing your emotions here. Ten of Swords, maybe there was an ending here uh, of a family situation and there's going to be a renewal and a new beginning. Or if you experienced an ending that was painful, you're going to be healing from, from that. And you're going to be able to restore happiness within your, within your family life. Yeah, the magician. Because you have manifested a situation here. You have been uh, actively manifesting from a place of gratitude. Okay, and that's very, very effective. Now, uh, signs I'm seeing here is Cancer and Gemini so far, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, um, North Node, um, Venus, Mars, Mercury uh, could be as well a Midheaven, okay? Justice, yes, you're getting your justice here, okay? Uh, this could be a, a, a court case, if this is the case, like a divorce because this is sitting next to the Ten of Swords, then you're going to have a, a happy outcome, okay? Whatever that means for you in healing. Three of Cups, a celebration here. So some of you could be getting married after you have been divorced or after leaving a situation that was very painful. Ten of Pentacles, confirming what I'm just saying. So that to me is the energy of the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. That's huge. That is that is emotional ha emotional fulfillment, happiness, financial stability, a nice home, uh, stability for your family, and a lot a lot of abundance. I'm just seeing abundance and a maybe a big family for some of you. Ten of Swords again. Why? Okay, so yeah, Ten of Swords twice. So you guys, um, so. I'm seeing some mirroring energy here. So maybe you and someone else who were divorced are coming together to start this happy family now. Okay. For others of you, 10, 10, 10. So angel number 10, 10, 10. Or it's just closing a cycle of pain and starting a cycle of happiness, fulfillment, and stabilities. Wonders. Okay. Working through the pain, you're working through the pain and you're manifesting a completely different reality here. And this guy, she has the swords behind her back in this one. So it's almost like there could be someone coming back after you had a divorce or separation and they're now offering you flowers and they're coming in with a different attitude, but you're still very... Um, 
you're still very defensive and you're on guard with this person, but this person is coming in to apologize because they realize what they've done wrong. This is like not for everyone, okay? For others of you, you've been through a painful ending or betrayal with someone. Could not have been a, it doesn't have to be a divorce, but could be, or a separation, or just with a friend where there could have been a third party situation if this was with a romantic partner, if this was a friend, there could have been a betrayal. Take it how it resonates for your situation, but now someone really nice and, um, you know, loving is coming in and you, you're not quite believing it because you're still working through uh, the pain there. But, you know, something about this is telling me you can trust it. Imagine, yeah. Yeah, even if your experience in the past was not the best with um, someone, uh, be that in family, love, or friendship, then uh, it's time to start imagining something different because it's possible to deal with nice people, okay? Just to put it really short, you can imagine a different outcome by being grateful for what you have as well. The number 20 could be relevant for you, could be a birth date, could be uh, an important number or the number two, 10, 10, 10, one. Yeah, closing a cycle to have a total new beginning. You're going to get like about, let's say, four opportunities here, an opportunity to start over in every single area of your life. And this is going to bring in a lot of uh, abundance and fulfillment, okay, in all areas of your life, emotional. So you're having this complete new beginning, complete new beginning. Like the depression, the anxiety is almost over, okay? The, uh, the, the pain is almost over. Your friends are going to help you as well. Career change for some of you. You are embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. For some of you, you're changing your career to something. Yeah, that's a total new beginning here. Now, for love messages, we got engagement ring. Okay, so some of you are ascending to a higher level of commitment with someone here. And this engagement is going to bring in a very happy family life. But this is a partnership. This is commitment. This is eternity, completion, and union. Okay? This could be with someone new who has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay? I'm seeing Gemini, Cancer energy, Libra energy. Could be you, the person you're dealing with. Treasure your loved ones. It is, it is important to love others deeply. I do feel that's the energy. You could have a daughter or you could be having a child. Um, if you do have a daughter, they're saying pay attention to your daughter. Treasure your daughter. Keep loving your daughter deeply. And this is another 10. So we have four 10s. You could be seeing a lot of 10s, but you're definitely closing big, big cycles in your life and opening up brand new cycles that will bring in a lot of emotional fulfillment and abundance and stability in all areas. So, but treasure your loved one. 